All right, it's not very often that PTL goes out after dark. I mean, we're a daytime show, true. but in this case, we had to make an exception. The gardens at Phipps are glowing once again, but this year they've pulled out all the stops. Yeah, after a brief hiatus last year, the holiday magic is back and more elegant than ever. PTL contributor Doug Oster made sure to give us a proper tour of the grounds. Take a look. Thanks very much and welcome to Phipps Conservatory and Botanical Gardens, one of my favorite places. We're here for the winter flower show called Holiday Magic, joined by our friend Jordan Molino, Associate Director of Exhibits. Good Hello. to see you, Doug. Good to see you. Tell me the theme of this year's show. Sparkle and shine. That's the earring, sparkle and shine. <laughs> Dazzling decorations, twinkling lights, and fun, whimsical displays. It's a beautiful show. I have never seen anything like this. What is it? This is Metania, or chandelier plant. A uh, chandelier plant, and I see a beautiful chandelier. We have to talk about these, because these are spectacular and unique to the show this year. These are topiary forms that are planted with hypoestes, or polka dot plant. This is a rotating tree sitting on a, a music box. And we use lots of reflective ornaments so that as the tree rotates, it catches all of that light. Holiday reflections is kind of what we're calling this room. Tell me a little bit about coming up with these decorative trees. Yeah, these are really unusual. These are uh, grapevine garland wrapped on cone topiary frames. And then we spray painted them silver with these cool white fairy lights on top. And it just really creates a silvery, reflective look in this room. Plant nerd alert, that is my favorite poinsettia, winter rose. Well, and it's right next to my favorite, tapestry. That's weird. How <laughs> how could our two favorites that we didn't know were our, you know each other's favorites be next to each other? Right next to each other. And here we've had um, a pairing of tapestry with ficus lemon lime. That's a really cool variegation that matches tapestry. Oh, I've never seen a variegated ficus. That is amazing. In the Victoria Pond here, and what is really lovely, particularly at night, is the reflection on that dark water. So all those twinkling lights and all of the lights on that tree. So speaking of seeing the show at night, the outdoor area is stunning. Yes, our winter light garden is phenomenal and it has returned this year after a brief hiatus last year. So we're really happy to have it back this year. So our Discovery Garden, garden Pavilion has been updated to look like a wintry ice palace. A beautiful blue chandelier hangs overhead with lots of ice crystals. So come during the day and stay for the night show. Absolutely. <laughs> this is a very unusual color scheme here in the East Room, and it's inspired by iridescence found in nature. So think about abalone shells and all of those colors that you might see kind of iridescing off of those shells. I know this one is Jador Pink, but what is this? This one is a fun yellow variety called Golden Glow, and it's the only yellow variety of poinsettia. How many times have I said this before? I've never seen this before. <laughs> Keep coming back every winter and you'll probably say it again. Next stop, downtown. Well, every year we're treated to a new garden railroad. Tell me about this one. Yeah, the theme this year is bridges and tunnels. All new track design, planting design, and fun features. And this is the sinkhole bus. Of course, we just celebrated the second anniversary of the sinkhole bus. Pittsburghers love Pittsburgh things, and I love that we all rallied around such a weird event. Well, Jordan, can you believe we've been doing this for 13 years together? Uh, yeah, I believe it. It feels like it. <laughs> Thanks so much. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about the pansies. It's kind of a unique flower for a winter flower show, um, but a beautiful shade of lavender pairs well with the, oh. with the uh, pink poinsettias, don't you think? It's great, oh yeah. And then candlelight evenings. Candlelight evenings. Every night we light over 150 candles inside the conservatory. Just adds that extra sparkle. So tell me about what's on the tree here. We've decorated the trees in the serpentine room with gift tag ornaments, and they're filled out with uh, hopes and wishes from our staff and volunteers. Do you have one up there? I do have one. Do you remember what it says? Yeah, it's two Pittsburghers from Jordan wishing you a winter filled with snow, but free of potholes. <laughs> Jordan, you've outdone yourself. Absolutely <laughs> wonderful. Thank you. The Winter Flower Show is a Pittsburgh tradition, and you should come down and see it, not just during the day, but the night too. All right, back to you in the studio. Uh, thank you, Doug. Yeah, at nighttime outside there, Beautiful. it's magical. It really um, is. I love Jordan's message. It is yes. the perfect winter sentiment for people from Pittsburgh, don't you think? 
What was her message? It said, wishing you a winter full of snow and no potholes, something along those oh, lines. Oh, I missed the potholes part. Yeah. That's great. Love it. Well, hey, don't waste any time because tickets will sell out and sell out fast. And our thanks to Phipps Conservatory for sponsoring today's segment. You can go to pittsburghtodaylive.com for more information on all that Phipps has to offer this holiday season. Well, coming up, a Charles Dickens novel has come to life in Washington County. Cannonsburg Christmas begins in just a few hours. We're giving you a sneak peek when we come right back.